three male performers are out to pull off one of the biggest stunts in the history of pop. Attempting to convince everyone that they're a brand new girl band. If you're crap, I mean, I dare say you'll have bottles thrown at you and things like that. Thanks, mate. The band have a warm-up gig tonight, and finally, they seem to have turned over a new leaf. It's on with the heels and down to some serious rehearsal, all by themselves. Well done, boys. Girls, boys. Girls, well done, girls. The band have been ordered to dress themselves for tonight's warm-up gig. But for their upcoming video shoot, co-manager Olivier's hired some much-needed expert help. Becky Seeger has styled some of the gorgeous girls of pop, including Jerry, Kylie, and now, Ross. Martin is probably the easiest to dress. He can actually work it. He really can work a skirt. Go, baby. And he can actually walk woman-like totally brilliantly. Yeah. Hello, Sailor. It's so funny. At the beginning, when I first came into the house, we were all so embarrassed and like devastated. We were walking around women's clothing, and now it's like, yeah, yeah, no problem. Which dress do you want me to put on now? Where's my bra? Where's my bra? Uh, where's the fake boobs? It's just become the norm now, which is a bit funny. But right now, fake boobs are the last thing in Austin's mind. With just a few hours to go before the gig. Being the latest singer of a band is a bit. Mad, especially when you're kind of doing the lead singing for a girl band. There's going to be a lot of pressure on me because people are going to be looking at me. When there's anyone at the front, people will look at them and people will pick them out and that is going to be quite hard. Oh, bless. He's only 19. But stylist Becky's got a few worries of her own. Austin, he's got the pecs, so he's got a little bit of bust. He's got the waist, so... and he's got the legs. But actually, when I put him in things, he was very manly in them. <laughs> but what was interesting is when we put the basque on, he became more petite again. Really pull him in. Because <clears throat> he can take it. When the jacket went on finally, he really did shrink a bit. Look how much smaller he looks as soon as yeah. his arms are covered. So maybe there's a little glimmer there, but still, obviously with him, have a long way to go as well. Martin will look great, I'm sure. I'm sure Martin will look great. I just, I'm worried about me and Russ. I'm worried for us. Ah, yes. Russ. Russ is probably the most, in physique-wise, the most manly out of the three. Looking at his mannerisms as well, they're quite sort of testosterone fueled, really. When you put, yeah, when you put tight things on me, it just makes me sort of go... I'm broad. And I'm tall, and I'm like over six foot high, and I'm, you know, I'm a, I'm a bloke. I haven't at any point during this actually looked at myself and thought I look like, like a, like a girl. Oh, it's just a joke. It's <laughs> it looks like a rugby top and chainmail. Yeah, that's what it's based on. Well, but it's good. It because is it stretchy? I mean, I don't even know whether I'm going to be able to pull it off or not. To be quite honest. Leaving Becky to fret over their frocks for the video, the band now face the enormous challenge of performing their first live gig. I want to make it happen for myself, and I think if I do it, it'd be a hurdle that I've jumped over. OK, there's times that I was messing about and it was a bit of a struggle, but I did it. Venues don't come much more intimate than this. The band will be just inches away from their audience and have only three and a half minutes to convince them that they're a bona fide girl band. They've been cocooned in their house for too long. So, let's see how they do on their own, OK? They might hate it, they might say we're out of here, but we're going to learn something. Nathan and Olivier haven't told the band that they'll be watching from the wings. As far as the boys are concerned, they're on their own. Is that changing What the fuck is that? What's the point of mine about it? All we've got to do is... 
put a bit of air and makeup on it. Can't be that difficult, can it? <laughs> I suppose looking at me now, I'm sort of thinking, looking pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you put it on back to front for a second so that. Hang on. <laughs> no, I'm being serious. Look at me. <laughs> He's Russ is making. Stand still. <laughs> That is better. Oh, look at that. That is better, mate. You look like I'm one of Charlie's angels. With just 20 minutes before showtime, things aren't looking good. You do look like crusty the clown, mate. You put it on so thick. I need to put it on thick. And the nerves are starting to kick in. Well, it's a practice gig, but at the same time, we've got to do it as well as we're going to do the main gig because obviously, I mean, to fool the audience, we are girls. So it, it is going to mean a lot. I'm just cutting up some tights so that we can wear them as sleeves. Make ourselves look younger. Did you cut the out? Did you cut them off? Ooh, there you go, mate. Ooh. I'm a little bit nervous because it's exposing ourselves to everyone. Not literally, well it could be, this dress moves apart. forgot what we were doing there, forgot that we were actually up on stage looking like three transvestites. We were actually just enjoying ourselves, having playing a gig, you know, I was just getting into music. In a, in a weird way, I reckon if we were on an arena stage today wearing these clothes, I reckon we'd have got away with it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's quite a claim, Ross. Let's see what the fee pen public thought. Geezers. Geezers. Geezer bird. Like lady boys from Thailand. Yeah. Definitely men. Pat Pong district. But they're quite cute as being men. I can tell you what gave it away as well. It was the keyboard player's breasts. Was it sure? That was fucking ludicrous. But we've learned a lot. There is a question mark about playing guitar live that I've got because for the first eight bars you didn't play in time. Bass wise, your miming's getting really good, but you've got to have the bass lower, you've got to be more sexy, you've got to be more addicted to love. I didn't feel like I did my best because there wasn't any room there for me to walk around stage and do the bits that I'll be doing. How committed are you? Do you really want to do it? Do you just want to mess about? Or do you want to really have something to be proud of at the end of this? With a big budget video shoot coming up in just three days' time, it sounds like the boys have still got a long way to go. The pressure really is on now because if we did fail now, then it would just seem like I've just been walking around in, in this silly stuff for no reason at all. We've got three days to pull off one of the biggest things we're ever going to do in our lives, possibly. And, yeah, I'm crapping myself, because it's... <laughs> yeah, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't. I think we're that close to pulling it off, but in my, all, my honest opinion right now is I don't reckon they'll do it.
Next week, the boys test the patience of their mentors once again. I think the attitude really stinks for a start. We look like a pair of tosses. <laughs> we have to go in with the attitude that we're going to make this work. And their alter egos take to the set to star in their very own girl band video. Beautiful. Like you really mean it. Let's go in for the close-up, please.